Hello everybody, Lurgs here, and today a quick review of the ground mat that I've bought for my Lazy Spa. And this is where I'm going to put the Lazy Spa, just next to the back of the house. Make sure you sweep any area first if you're going to put it on a patio. If you don't want any dirt and grit getting underneath. Make sure you measure the diameter of your hot tub and make sure you get a mat which is slightly larger than your hot tub. Best way, do make an official floor protector. I got one off a well-known auction site, which is extra thick eight millimeters. And with the miracle of technology, it's already arrived. And it arrived in this lovely big box and I wrote pizza extra large on it just to confuse my daughter. Last year, I just put it on this vinyl mat just to help protect it, but it was very uncomfortable because you're basically sitting on the patio. But I am going to leave that down just while I set it all up. And I'll take that away just before I fill the hot tub up with water. And it's basically just the world's easiest, biggest puzzle. But some of the segments, you need to make sure that they go the right way up. It's not actually labeled or anything. There's no actual instructions because it's pretty simple. Let's just check out the thickness here. This is basically the same sort of material that you use for yoga mats, things like that. I'm just going to set mine up here next to the outdoor plug. So just set it all up exactly where it's going to go and then just slot in the puzzle elements. Now make sure that they are the right way up. If it looks like it's not going to go, it's because it's not the correct way up. So this one is not going to fit. So if I just flip it over, And now it all lines up. So just make sure when you're putting it all together that you don't force anything. It should just all go together nice and simple. Let's just speed this footage up. And there's Daisy wondering what's going on. Just going to press everything into place and it's got a small mat for the heating unit. I'm just going to start pumping up the lazy spa here. Before I fill it up with water I'm going to remove that brown vinyl matting. So I've filled it up with water. Obviously this is massively speeded up. That took about three or four hours to fill up and then this is the next day after it's all heated up to a toasty temperature of 38 degrees centigrade. And this particular ground mat is nice because it actually sticks out of the edge. So you've got a bit of extra width on it to stand on before you get in. So you've probably got about 10 to 12 inches all the way around. So that's really nice. And already just sitting in it, bouncing up and down, it's fantastic, so much more comfortable. If I'd have done this last year without it, I'd be giving myself a serious back injury, just slamming straight onto the patio. So I'm really, really pleased with this. This ground foam mat is definitely worth having because not only does it help protect you when you're sitting on it, it's nice and comfy, also helps protect the bottom of the lazy spa from any grit and it also helps with insulation. I know heat rises but it does help when it gets cold at night for any heat going down into your patio area. So it's a thumbs up from me. Now normally at this point I'd have a lovely cup of tea but as it's a beautiful day I'm in this lazy spa, I think I'm gonna have some bubbly. This is just lemonade, not champagne. Unfortunately, I've got champagne taste and lemonade wages. Cheers. I hope you found that useful. Up here is a top 10 tips on how to keep your water super clean in your lazy spa. And there's also some other useful videos on the lazy spa around the edges of the screen. Right, see you later.